Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and deploy an automated grid trading bot on the BitScap platform. And the pair that I will be trading will be ADA BTC with the long-term mission of accumulating BTC. And with that being said, you can see I currently have a bot running on ETH BTC with the same mission. And so far it's up 2.43% and more importantly, it has been accumulating BTC and therefore winning the battle. Now, before we get into the weeds, if you're not familiar with BitScap, it's an all-in-one trading platform that allows you to interface with all of your exchanges. So you connect your exchanges to the platform through API keys. Therefore, actually all your money stays on your exchange. And so you're not actually sending money to BitScap and your money is as secure as it can be on your exchange. And a few of the features that I use is their trading terminal to actually day trade. Also, they have an arbitrage feature, a signals feature. You can actually demo trade and test your strategies before you deploy them live. And then of course, the grid bot is my number one go-to when it comes to grid bots. Now you might be wondering what is the investment to get involved? Well, for starters, if you click the link in the description down below, that will actually get you a 14 day free trial of the pro plan, this $110 plan. That's the plan that I use. So you'll get access to that plan for free for 14 days. After that, you could certainly decide to go with the basic package that will get you all the features necessary to deploy the bot like I'm deploying today. Or if you think you're going to be trading more volume or want more active bots, you might step up to the advanced or the pro plan after your 14 day trial. So again, link in the description down below, get your 14 day free trial. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring this bot. So the first thing you would need to do once you log into the BitScap platform is you're going to need to connect your exchanges. So you click on my exchanges from the menu bar up top and you simply click on add new exchange. And from there you just select your exchange like Binance US and then you would go to Binance US, create your API keys, copy and paste them into the boxes here and click connect and you'll have your API keys connected. And if your API keys are not connected properly, you'll get a message that says disconnected. Both of these exchanges have updated their API keys. I know Qcoin wants you to use their version two, so I need to go in and do that. But the grid bot I'm deploying today will be on Binance and I have my API keys already connected. So now I'm ready to jump over to the bots tab on the menu up top. I just click on bots. And now from the bots dashboard, I need to select my exchange is going to be Binance. And then the pair is going to be ADA. So I need to search for ADA and BTC. And then that pulls up a grid for ADA BTC. Now, if you're not familiar with grid trading and how that works, a grid bot is configured around limit orders, buy and sell limit orders. The red lines you see on the screen are your sell limit orders and the green lines are the buy limit orders. So when the price action moves down, like you see this dip here, each time it hits one of these green grid lines, it will buy ADA. So each grid line down, it buys ADA. And then when the price action reverses, you will have these red lines and it will start selling into those red lines at a higher price than you bought at. And this example kind of shows the little green targets are the buy on the way down and then the red targets are your sell orders on the way up for profit. So the objective is to buy the drop, sell the pop. That's your objective is to buy low, sell high. And so now that I have my pair selected, I need to choose a lower price and an upper price for this actual grid. And you can see the upper price and lower price. And so my upper level is typically somewhere along the line of resistance and my lower level would be past support. So we need to check our six and look back at where those levels might be. We see support down along this line where the lower level already is. It kind of bounces off of this lower level. And then we see resistance nowhere in this ballpark. So we got to go back further. And we're still not seeing any resistance. So what I would do is look at the resistance I do see on this chart. And that is in this region here. 
So if I zoom back in, you can see the price is having a problem getting above this area here. So I'm going to lower my upper price by clicking and dragging that down into that area there. And then for my lower level price, I'm going to actually raise this up into this area here. And that would give me a grid of 82 grids with a grid spacing of 0.61%. Now you do need to take into account your fees that the exchange charges for your buy and sell orders. And in this case, because I do pay with the BNB token, I get charged 0.075% for a buy and 0.075% for a sell order. So I wanna make sure I cover that. So that equates to a 0.15% if you combine both the buy and the sell fees together. Now I have that covered with a 0.61 between the steps. Now I can change the number of grids simply by typing in say 90. And we see my grid spacing actually dropped from 61 to 0.56. Or on the flip side, if I want my grid spacing to be higher, I can change this to say 70. And then you see I end up with 72 grids. And if I zoom out a little, that gives you a little better idea of the spacing between the grids. Now, I don't actually need my upper price to be as high as it currently is at. And the reason I would be comfortable lowering this upper price is the fact that Bitscap actually has a feature called trailing up. That's right here, the trailing up feature. And with that toggled on, if the price action moves out of the grid range, it will actually trail that price action up and create a new grid. And so I'm going to lower this down into just above this resistance point here, which, which you can see on the chart. Now, if the price action moves up and out of the upper price limit, it will actually move the upper price limit along with the price action on the way up and thus recreating the grid. And so now let's see if I change the number of grids to 70, I get a grid spacing of 0.68 and let's see if we just change that to 69 now our grid spacing 69 and now that I'm comfortable with these settings I have a couple other optional features are take profit once a certain profit percentage is reached I could have the bot stop however the mission of this bot is to accumulate BTC I'm not going to enable that option and the other one is a stop loss now, with a stop loss, I do recommend deploying a stop loss. Now, if Cardano were to crash for some reason, I would certainly want a stop loss deployed. And again, I'm going to determine my stop loss based on previous support. And in this case, I want to give it room to move. So I would actually throw a stop loss pretty low. And that is because I am actually very comfortable holding Cardano long term so you need to do your recon on your cryptocurrencies and determine your risk management for your particular strategy so i'm going to drop my stop loss down to this 500 region and since i don't typically like being right on that number i'm going to drop it just below to around the 490. So now I have my stop loss, my lower and my upper price limits set. I have my grid spacing set with the number of grids. The next factor involved will be how much I want to actually invest. And I can actually drag this slider bar to determine how much BTC I want to actually invest in this strategy. And if this box turns red, then I don't have enough BTC to fulfill all these orders. And so I need to slide this bar over until I have enough BTC invested. And it looks like 63% would get me just enough to cover all these limit orders. So now it's time to backtest this strategy. So we'll click backtest. And anytime you run a backtest, you need to understand that the past results don't guarantee future results. And it looks like over a 30-day period, I'd be up 12%. And so if I can accumulate 12% of BTC in a 30 day period, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, with that being said, this is not a huge daily profit maker, but anytime I'm trading a pair with BTC as the quote currency, I'm not looking for those big returns. I'm looking for accumulation. And this will do exactly what I'm looking for it to do is to accumulate BTC over the long term. Now we've got everything set. We had a successful back test. The last thing to do is deploy this bot. And we do that by hitting the start button. 
and you'll get a message letting you know that it is necessary for the bot to buy 114 ADA and that's to cover those sell orders those red lines on the grid and we're going to buy it at a market price so yes buy and the bot is active and live so I will be doing an update video on the performance of this bot in the near future so now would be an excellent time to shoot that subscribe button also if you like this video do me a favor spike the like if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those in the comment section down below I will leave a link to Bitscap in the description down below so you can get that 14 day free trial of the pro account and that pretty much wraps it up so remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video